Uh-oh, and then there was trouble. What's going on, Neville? Looks like you're stuck on the broken end of a bridge, and you're pulling Annie and Clarabelle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, uh, while we wait for Thomas to come rescue you, how about you say we read a story about you? A story about Neville. This is a story about you, Neville. A little engine who just wanted to be friends. But Thomas and the others wouldn't give you a chance. And that got them all into trouble. One morning, the fat controller made an announcement. A new engine has arrived on the island, he said. His name is Neville. That's you, Neville. You must all make him feel welcome. I wonder what this Neville will be like, Thomas said to Emily. I hope he's as steamy like us, Emily replied. Later that day, Thomas has, had stopped at a signal when the signalman called down to him. The bridge ahead is unsafe, he said. Uh-oh, looks like the situation you're in, Neville. It needs mending before any engines can cross it. You must go to the docks and collect some iron to repair the bridge. At the docks, Ari and Bert were with Neville, the new engine. Ari and Bert are no good. They're trouble. Neville was a steamy, but he had a square body like a diesel. Ari and Bert were feeling dotty, naughty. We'll help you shunt those trucks, they said. But they pushed Neville hard into the trucks. The diesels laughed. Neville looked sad. It's not our fault, you silly steamy, oiled Bert, and they laughed even harder. When Thomas arrived at the docks, he saw Ari and Bert laughing with Neville. There's a new engine, Thomas thought. He seems to be friends with the diesels. How strange. Thomas chuffed off to Knapford Station. We better be careful of the new engine, he warned James at the platform I saw him laughing with Ari and Bert at the docks. There's Ari and Bert. James was shocked. A steamy friends with diesels. He chugged off to the to take on water. That new engine Neville is best friends with diesels, he puffed when Percy passed by. He doesn't like steamies, Thomas told me. Later Percy met Emily at a red signal. Don't go near Neville, the new engine, he told her. The diesels have told him to biff into steamies. James has heard it from Thomas. Hmm. Sounds like you got yourself in a bit of trouble, Neville, hanging out with those diesels. When Thomas arrived at Curvin's gate, the fat controller was there. I have a very important job for you, he boomed. You must warn all the engines not to cross the bridge until it is repaired. Thomas felt proud. It was a really useful job. Then he heard a whistle. Someone was coming. He had to warn them. But when Thomas saw it was Neville, he forgot about his important job. He's pulling Annie and Clarabelle, Thomas felt crossly. They're my coaches, not his. Neville, looks like you're pulling Annie and Clarabelle. I hope Thomas isn't mad. Hello, puffed Neville perkily. I'm not talking to you, Thomas Huff. Neville was puzzled and sad. When Emily pulled in next to him, Neville gave her a big, friendly smile. He hoped she would be nicer than Thomas. Emily wished out steam. It's no use trying to make friends with me, she said grandly. I know you're just you're going to biff into all the steamies, just like the diesels told you to. Neville didn't know why she was being so horrid to him, but the station master blew his whistle, and Neville had to chug sadly away. Then Emily saw Thomas. Thanks for warning us all about Neville, she said. Percy told me what you told James. Thomas was very surprised. I only said I saw Neville with the diesels, he cried. But before Emily could answer, Toby arrived. Have you heard? He puffed. Salty saw Airy and Bert be horrible to Neville at the docks. So the diesels weren't Neville's friends at all.
All of a sudden, Thomas remembered where Neville was going. Neville's headed for the broken bridge, he cried. I must stop him. Neville was speeding along. Suddenly, he saw a barrier on the track. He slammed on his brakes, but it was too late. His front wheels went over the broken end of the bridge. Thomas came racing up and saw what he had saw what had happened. He knew it was all his fault. Then he had an idea. He would pull Neville back. Thomas steamed slowly and carefully onto the bridge. He gently bumped Clarabelle and Thomas Driver coupled Clarabelle to him. Thomas was very scared. Slowly and steadily he began to pull Neville back from the bridge. The bridge creaked. Thomas had to hurry. With one big puff he pulled Neville to safety. Thanks, whistled Neville. What a relief. I, sh I should have warned you, puffed Thomas. But I was too busy believing silly stories. I thought you didn't like steamies. Can you forgive me? Oh, yes, peeped Neville. Let's be friends. Thomas gave Neville a long, happy peep peep. From now on, he wanted to be the best friend Neville had ever had. The end.